And uh, Citigroup will be the next U.S. bank uh, to report its earnings later tonight. Apart from seeing how lenders are benefiting from higher interest rates, investors will also focus on how the companies will survive the expected tough environment ahead. And CNA's Roland Lim tells us what investors watch out for when they read the scorecards. Now, when it comes to corporate earnings, what are the major things that investors should look out for? Well, first things first, what are corporate earnings and why do we care? They basically show how businesses have done in the past three, six or even 12 months. They provide insights to a company's operations, the efficiency of its management, its weak spots and its performance relative to industry peers. The reports show how much profit or loss a company has made and why. And they typically give guidance as to how a firm could perform in the coming quarter or in the full year. Now, investors usually get a good sense of what they should do with the stock, buy, hold or sell. One of the first figures investors look at is what's popularly known as the top line. Now, this refers to the revenue and it's usually at the top of the report, hence the nickname. Another important number is the profit and that's usually a net figure. Now, this refers to how much money a company has made after deducting expenses such as salaries, raw materials, rent, interest on debt, and taxes. Now, for some businesses and sectors, though, they go with pre-tax profit or net income. And because this figure is calculated after various deductions, it's widely known as the bottom line, usually found at the end of the statement. Now, companies also list earnings per share. That's breaking down the monetary value of profit per outstanding share of common stock. It's a key measure of corporate profitability. A third key figure, given its direct impact on the bottom line, is expenses. And this shows investors how prudent or wasteful the company has been in spending. Now, these figures are what all investors look out for, regardless of sectors. Then there are some others that ones are more sector-specific. Now, one is dividend. Interesting, particularly for people holding shares of banks and property developers. It's the distribution of a company's earnings to its shareholders. It could be paid out in cash or in the form of reinvestment in additional stock. And with the development of new sectors, new metrics have been used to gauge a company against its peers. One such figure for the tech sector, for instance, is the number of daily active users on a platform. Now, obviously, the higher this is, the better. So when it comes to corporate earnings, it's all about the numbers and the story those numbers tell. For CNA Explains, I'm Roland Lim.